Well, training has begun in Lambourne on new equipment that could help assess the effect of repeated head injuries suffered by jockeys. The technology is already being used in rugby, but this is thought to be the first time it's been trialled in horse racing. Joe Campbell reports now from Berkshire. They call it the sport of kings, but not many royals would run the day-to-day -day risks faced by riders here. Apprentice jockey Courtney Thomas has just returned to the saddle after a lengthy period of injury. It's quite a serious thing. Friends and that kind of ignore it. It's, it's quite bad, but it comes quite regularly, to be fair. Um, pretty much, well, every jockey suffers injuries yearly, pretty much, unless you're very lucky. He goes down, he tries... Horse racing is just the latest sport to wake up to the dangers of repeated concussions. I use the analogy if you're a six foot three uh, rugby player running head on and there's concerns around concussion and the consequences of it, a 50 kilo jockey on half a tonne of horse at that speed, this is a really serious discussion. Those are VR goggles which have eye tracking capabilities. This is the latest high tech go anywhere way of assessing injury. Take your glasses off for me. Right. First thing we're going to ask you to do is target's going to float around the screen, it's a little black dot. I want you to follow the dot using your head and eyes. Uh, try and keep the dot in the centre of the screen. Follow up tests help spot damage long after you or I might think we're back to normal. Long term, there is growing evidence that multiple concussions over a career can lead to what's called a tra traumatic encephalopathy. That's uh, essentially a neurodegenerative condition where Parkinsonism, dementia occurs at a young age. It will help alleviate sort of those, those instances because it will allow more personalised management from a, to a return to play for people who have suffered concussions. The British Horse Racing Authority recognises that this is a high-risk sport and says, as a consequence, it's essential that it remains at the forefront of science and research into managing concussion. And as a result, it's keen to look at technologies like this. Getting jockeys back into the saddle after obvious physical injuries has long been the stock in trade here in Lambourne. But today, training was taking place for medical staff as they look to recruit 400 jockeys to look at tracking head injuries using the new equipment. Joe Campbell, BBC South Today. It's fascinating.